Hi everyone, good afternoon. I am Rudhima Dua here and thank you so much Jobs for Her to giving me this opportunity to talk to HR and many other professionals about NLP, Neurolinguistic Programming. I hope that all of you are safe and secure at your home and taking care of yourself and your family in this corona outbreak. So stay safe and stay healthy. All right, uh, so I guess we can proceed and uh, talk about the questions. And before we take our questions, a quick uh, two minutes introduction about myself. So I'm Rudhva, we all know it's been more than 16 years. I've been working in the corporate industry and uh, I can uh, say that uh, very specifically, I'm a corporate trainer, I'm an NLP trainer, and I'm also a coach by profession. About my credentials, uh, I'm an NLP trainer by NLP Academy. You can write down NLP Academy by John Grinder, Michael Carroll, and Carmen Bostic. NLP Academy is in London, and our trainings have been conducted in Europe. And I was a part of uh, uh, the team which had 55 countries together. Yeah, so participants were from all the countries and we learned together. Uh, I'm also having a credential of Associate Certified Coach. Uh, this is by Coach Federation, International Coach Federation. You all can also log in to coachfederation.org to check more about coaching. Uh, coaching is very useful in the HR field as well. Uh, for the NLP Academy, you can go directly to NLP Academy, which is John Grinder, who is the co-creator of NLP that's Academy. Uh, the other credential, which I also have, is about the corporate trainer and facilitator. Some are also certified by IAO as a facilitator and done many other couple of certifications by Dale Carnegie and so on and so forth. So what I do is uh, specifically, I am into corporate trainings wherein I provide behavioral trainings to the sectors, BFSI, IT, ITES, and other sectors. This is one side of it. Second, I am a coach, which is ACC, Associate Certified Coach. So I provide life coaching and leadership coaching. And third, I provide NLP certifications for, which has been approved by John Grinder, Michael Carroll, Carmen Bostic. The module and the curriculum which we run is been approved by John Grinder, Michael Karen, Carmen Bostic. It's a quite intensive course. Uh, it's a nine day classroom plus one year hand holding course in which you continually work around your NLP strategies and techniques and you spend a good time to understand and to practice it a lot. Uh, once your evaluations and everything is done, you get a certificate from John Grinder himself. So these are the three specific things which I do apart from that. You can also read about me on Rudhamadwa.com. So I'll not waste too much of time now and uh, go to the question segment. So thank you so much viewers to, to give all the questions which we have. And I just need to know that you all can hear me and we can, we can go ahead with the questions. I just want to ask the team one second. Okay, so Shanita, I can't see the comment page on the ambassadors group. I can. Okay, fine. So I will go ahead uh, with the questions, although I'm not able to see the comments section on the on my live page. So the question, one question, the first question uh, is being asked by 
Ashwini. And the question is about in what way NLP can help me climb the ladder. And the second question is also, which has been asked by Mansi, is also around how can NLP benefit me in, in the HR? Okay, so that's the question uh, which has been asked. So let me go back to the question directly. Uh, so now the question is about how can NLP benefit me in the HR? Uh, we all as HR are dealing with people, isn't it, right? So it's all about people management, conflict management, interpersonal skills, feedback management, all the topics which we work around and we deal around team, team management is all about people management. Now, how can NLP be utilized for the HR? NLP is a study of excellence and the study of human behavior, actually. So as an HR, you're going to learn the strategies about very specifically what they behave and why they behave. What is a strategy which a person is utilizing to behave in a certain way? These strategies are quite structured. It's content free more and the process matters a lot. And you as an HR, when you learn the process, not only in the professional front, when you will learn, you will start utilizing that into personal life. The way you will deal with people, the way you will answer people, the way you will start collaborating or building rapport, the way you will start knowing people. So there are tools which I will come to it. That is going to help you first personally about how are you dealing with people. And when you know how to utilize the tools for influencing skills, for conflict management, for team management, for feedback mechanism, for performance appraisals, for recruitment, or anything which is related to people management, you can start jumping to the next level. Why? Because when you will go to your senior who is in above your ladder, you will make that person understand about the strategies which is utilized in those teams which are not working well or those teams which are working well. And you can start creating or aligning those teams using the strategies of NLP, which itself says that if you are using the influencing skills, of course, uh, you're going to climb up high, isn't it, right? So personally and professionally, in both the ways, it is going to teach you techniques, a strategy, one, to deal with yourself and how to respond, and the second one, then, how to deal it with the teams. And of course, then influencing. That's about uh, it. I'm going to cover about the topics uh, also in the questions. Which we can which we can go down so uh coming to another question which is uh, moving forward the same discussion which i'm having right now the fourth question which is asked by radha thank you so much uh as a starter how nlp specializing nlp can help me so um a very basic which i will tell all the hrs is the first basic step which all of us as hr need to do is to do basic nlp practitioner a basic NLP practitioner is a course of nine days by NLP Academy, which is run by John Grinder. You can also look out for other courses, which is for shorter duration for five days or three days if you want. However, doing a length course of basic NLP practitioner, that's the name which is being given, what you become is you become a practitioner. Now, what does practitioner means? Practitioner means that you start practicing NLP techniques with self and with others in your office, uh, with your people, with the person who is in a, a stuck situation or a problem or feedback management anywhere. Uh, once you start utilizing those techniques as a starter or you are HR as a starter, you start doing that and that can help you to strategize more in your own career as well as for your team's goals. So remember, NLP is a self tool, and then it is used for profession a lot. Uh, now, if you are a starter, utilizing NLP and also learning about coaching, which I would recommend all of the HR also to do with. So coaching can be learned uh, through coachfederation.org, which is a credential, uh, which is a useful credential for all of us to know. Uh, that's ICF. 
and NLP Academy run by John Window, both of which you can start utilizing and will benefit you in a very, very long run. That was the next question, uh, which was asked by Veena that how NLP can help me in a very long run. So NLP is a practice. It is just like you are a doctor and you learn certain thing. But when you learn certain thing, if you're not practicing in the real world, it's of no use, right? So we need to practice, practice, practice. And as more and more and more you will practice it, you will get to know that if someone has been sick, then why has It is as simple as that, like a doctor. So you will get to know if the person is behaving in X way or what you need to do and how you need to strategize more and what can you do for that person as well. That's people management also. So it's a very, very long term, long run uh, subject uh, because it's quite wide. But another question which was asked, which is quite useful uh, now when I'm doing this discussion is about the topics, which is very important. This question was asked by Deepali and the question was about what are the main aspects of uh, NLP? So you can write that down and I shall also share it in writing if possible. As uh, the main aspects of NLP, is representation systems, lead system. So these are how people respond to visual auditory kinesthetics, olfactory gustatory, the five senses. So how people behave, what they behave. How are they organizing the data inside? It's a beautiful study. Uh, like how do I feel motivated? Do I see something and then I feel motivated? Do I hear and I feel motivated? And then I can jot down our strategy. So I'm not getting into the content. I can know the how of it. So I will not put too much of time on the content. I'll give you the names directly. So uh, that's about representation system, lead system, meta model. Meta model is a very beautiful, beautiful and powerful structure of asking questions in a so subtle way that you can challenge uh, a person and get a breakthrough. Uh, there are uh, 13 meta model and there are 23 Milton model. Milton model is language patterns. Please make sure that you read about Milton model. It's a beautiful uh, way to use analogies, metaphors, and different styles of using languages. I'm talking about patterns over here. Uh, then, very important, another aspect of NLP for HR is rapport building, which is to be utilized with matching and mirroring. And a concept which is not being talked a lot is micro muscle movements. I repeat the name, micro muscle movements. We can talk about it maybe um, in the later part of uh, uh, discussions uh, ab about it. You can write down the name of the topic that's micro muscle movement, which can help you to understand uh, people and calibrate uh, much better. Uh, what is calibration? It's also a concept, beautiful concept without which NLP stands nowhere. It's a mother of all skills. Calibration uh, means reading non verbal cues. So that's one of the aspects which HR should must, must know. So I said, you can write it down if you want. Uh, representation system, lead system, meta model, Milton model. Then I said about calibration, rapport building, matching and mirroring. Other concepts uh, is reframing. So reframing the content or the context. So the name is reframing is the context. Uh, reframing also covers in language patterns. You will see a lot of uh, language patterns in reframing. Another aspect of NLP which HR should know is anchoring. Uh, anchor is a trigger for the response. So I can use a sound. This is an anchor, which I just shifted your state by doing this. So ow, I'm, I'm using something. So I, when I emphasize on certain thing, which I say is also anchoring. It is a spatial anchor space kinesthetic touch anchor or sounds audio anchor. Uh, I'll quickly just sum up a few more concepts for you to go through. So one more concept which you should go through uh, as an HR is about unconscious talk. 
So talking to your unconscious as a personal help is also very, very useful. Some more concepts, which is also important in the in the NLP field, there are many others. Uh, like we can work around association and disassociation. So uh, association and disassociation is a very simple, easy technique to push away yourself and do it. Uh, perceptual position. Remember this one. Perceptual perceptual positions is used for conflict management and decision making. Also, all of these techniques or the aspects which I have told you right now. We can actually learn them in the real scenario and can utilize it uh, in the feedback management, performance appraisals, in recruitment, and dealing with people, in team management, and uh, in the process of uh, getting high performance teams, in the process of conflict management or team issues, in the prospects of improvement and finding out what strategies work because NLP is a study of excellence it's a structured based process it has nothing to do with too much of content content i mean uh, we keep discussing a problem for a length so i just need to go into the 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 structured process abc so that i can find out as an hr what's the problem instead of me as an hr getting inside the problem so the concept of nlp works on a major presupposition that i am not going to be in the context inside it i will be away from it and find out what strategy did not work so uh, these are some of the uh, aspects of nlp which an hr should know i will move forward to the next question uh, Mm, one of the questions which has been asked is about artificial intelligence. Is the use of artificial intelligence the future for HR? This has been asked by Manjula. Thank you, Manjula, for asking this question. So uh, a very, very important fact is, yes, today we are in the scenario where artificial intelligence is going to take a huge space in the HR, of course. There are so many processes which has been done in recruitment, in hiring, in interviews. Uh, we all are also using in some way technology to reach out to each other so yes it is going to create a lot of change now uh, however there are a lot of studies which say that artificial intelligence is going to stay uh, but ei which is emotional intelligence or need to understand people is not going to be away right that's not going to be going so we need to have both as an hr understanding about ai and keeping ourselves updated with the innovation and also utilizing AI as well, uh, which is also one of the part of NLP. Okay, uh, moving ahead, I have a question, interesting one, which I also deal very often. How to make my company understand the importance of NLP? Asked by Anita over here. So thank you so much, Anita, to ask this question. Uh, very specific. Just go and do it. So step number one, as an HR, you would go and do NLP practitioner and practice. Practice for yourself. If you don't practice and you just do the course, it's not going to help you. Step number two, uh, pick up a model like, you can, you can pick up a module, a module of say, representation systems and lead systems and create games around it and do a half day or a one day session with one specific team. And then give them a task, okay? And they are going to use the task for the next week. Observe them, give them updates, give them feedback, let them use it, utilize it. And then do a follow-up session again and make them understand the same concept once again. And then see the difference from week one to week two. The company itself get to know that they are changing the way they behave, the people, they will start changing the way they behave if we use the right structure. That's the most important thing. So I have noticed a lot of company uh, to convince them. I tell them, let's do it instead of talking about it. Because until and unless you do it, you will not come to know. They got to know. Uh, there are a lot of HR which I'm in touch with. They have done the practitioners and they're utilizing it for feedback management a lot. Performance appraisals, oh my God, they're using it a lot. 
because it is all covered by language patterns. So that's about your question. This was a very interesting one, uh, crisp one. Okay, uh, what are the ways I can, as an HR professional, become adapt with NLP? That's asked by Parinita. 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 All right. Thank you, Parinita. Uh, this question also connect with the practice you need to do as an HR. So step number one, uh, you can start reading a book by Richard Bandler. The name of the book is Ultimate Introduction to NLP. Simple book. It's thin. One day you are done with this book. Uh, second, please, please, even if you don't read a book, doesn't matter. Please do a classroom training, a length training, if possible, 10 days spread over weekends. Please do that. Uh, that's basic NLP practitioner. This goes to the levels which I wanted to tell you. There are three levels of NLP. As an HR, uh, you can focus on the foundation level, which is basic NLP practitioner. That itself is enough if you are not planning to uh, to, to be a trainer in NLP as such. That itself is huge enough. That's one. Uh, that's the first level. Second level, master practitioner. And the third level, train the trainer. So but another very good aspect in NLP is that the more you would do, I have done my basic practitioner five times, and the more you would do it, like you would be a participant, the more you will start getting the knowledge into it. There is so much which starts opening. It's, it's huge because the structure is made that way. The structure is like if you have a cake, you can make a cake, and if you make a cake, it will be easy. Secondly, you can see what you want to do with your own cake. Third, if you mix the batter well, if you mix it well, then it is more smoother. It's all about that. You need to mix the batter well so that it is smooth, very, very smooth. So you can do basic practitioner, the first level itself. And you can repeat the first level, maybe two or three times, and also with different um, different uh, traders, yeah. So you can actually do that with different trainers. Although if you are focusing as a career only in NLP, then it is a basic master trainer trainer from one society which you will get uh, the, the knowledge from. Although you can take it from other trainers also if you're taking only basic practitioners. So it is about, this is about your question on uh, on the levels of it and how can you start. So the start is basic practitioner. You can go to, uh, you can go to basic practitioner by NLP Academy, which is run by John Grindra. John Grindra courses are run in Bangalore by uh, one other person, uh, Sajid Ahmed, he lives in Qatar. Uh, by me in Pune and uh, Pune and Mumbai here, uh, which is John Grinders. Abed Hakkar also runs in Mumbai. So there are people who are running John Grinders uh, structure here in India. Uh, there are a few people who are also running Richard Bangalore structure, so you can learn it uh, from them. But please make sure all of you are doing a classroom training and utilizing it in real life. Uh, one suggestion here, which I would like to make, please make sure that after you do a classroom training, do not close the book, do not stop utilizing it. If you are doing that, you are killing all the knowledge. Practicing every day because it's a life, it's a life skill, which you can practice it with your spouse, with your with your kids, with your parents, with your friends, colleagues, everywhere. So practicing is the key here. Okay, so I would go to the next question. And the next question is also interesting by Elria. Elria, is that where you sound? Okay, Elria. Uh, how to bring in the connect between traditional HR practices and NLP? Okay, so how to bring in the practices with traditional HR and NLP both together? So NLP is also traditional, actually started way back in 1970s uh, quite a long time now uh, some of the traditional practices of hr is recruitment interviews 
performance management appraisals uh, these are the some of the basics right uh, and the base case and the survey technical uh, operational work so in people management these are the basics one right so uh, these basics which we already have in which we are using some traditional practices of asking a person okay you're using sandwich method we're using okay asking all right appreciating however if we use collaboration if we use rapport building if we use meta question if we use language pattern of milton we can certainly certainly achieve much better deeper outcome than what we are achieving right now the difficulty is with hr during recruitment while you're interviewing using uh using meta questions or using iss and queues or using a presentation system or a combination of all can definitely definitely help okay i have five minutes here so um Ilria, yes we can have a very good connect between the traditional hr practices and nlp uh, nlp we have been utilizing nlp every day it's just that we don't know what are we utilizing is here it is a very simple example for all of us over here. And um, thank you, Elria, for opening this question. So all of you, the, the example is, we all of us have learned uh, driving a car or a cycle or a bike or anything. When we didn't know how to drive it, we were just uh, not aware that there is something which exists we need to drive. We came to know, okay, there is something which exists which we can drive. We started practicing. And when we start practicing, uh, we chunk down. Means uh, we first hold it if it is cycle, bicycle, because that's the most common thing which all of us drive. So the bicycle, so we hold it the handle first, yeah, and then we started pedaling. So we were focusing on pedaling, and then the handle was moving because we don't know how to do it together. And then we kept practicing and then we know that how to move the handle or oh, sorry how to move the pedal and uh, use the handle isn't it and then we started also looking around here and there in the environment that's called peripheral vision so we started looking in the environment not easily so easy how we went through a strategy the strategy was chunking we picked up either the pedal or the the handle or the balancing of both we picked up one by one we don't pick up everything together that's not the way human behavior works they pick up one by one and then they process that information however the processing is so fast that in the real scenario we don't come to know in the real scenario what is it so we just don't know and then when we know it now we know how to ride a cycle do we even think how to ride it we don't think about it we just do it so practice chunking every day you are already doing it that's a part of nlp however nlp helps you understand so many concepts which you are utilizing but you don't know the strategy behind that concepts for example we did one of the sessions with one of the companies and the discussion was about high performance team so we didn't want them to tell what are the teams who are not performing rather my question to them was give me that team according to you which is performing much better they're performing good i would copy that strategy specifically and understand how are the processing information inside and I can copy it to them and for the other teams which is not performing. That's what I would focus on. NLP will focus on the strategy, structure, and make you more content free and take the process, da da da, da one, two, three, and keep the things in the process. So uh, that's about the process, which means that if you know how to ride a cycle, you can also know how to ride a school over there. And you can also then learn how to ride a car. And what you would do is you would process it one by one and you would use the same strategy of practicing, isn't it? So uh, this is about your, uh, your question on that. 
Okay, so I have one more question. That's an interesting one. We are above 30 minutes, that's fine. Rubina says, I work at a startup with a strength, less than 15 people. Will it be worth specializing? Okay, so Rubina, uh, NLP is uh, not about uh, number of people, 15 or 30. It's a very valid question which you're asking, which is helping others also to understand. NLP is first your self-help tool, which will help you to understand your strategies inside. Because if you can understand your strategies inside, then only you can understand others' strategies easily. That's what I did in my life. Uh, it was very fast for me because I wanted to understand my own strategies inside. How does the eyes move? Right now, my eyes move the left way. So it's a simple example. Don't. Uh, uh, it's not difficult it's very very easy if you just learn it properly that's it so it's not about numbers it's more about within those 15 people also if you would like to have transformation for them and give choices in their brains in a different way and make their life more easier and more better and also for yourself you have done a great job that's that's all also apart from those 15 people there could be so many people who will come in your contact and by utilizing nlp you can learn their strategies and can also uh, give them something if you want and also learn about your strategies how you behave with them so that's also another way to understand this so when I'm saying strategies, strategies again and again, what do I mean? I mean very simple thing for doing anything in our lives. We follow simple process and a strategy. Even if we have to cook food, we all are on work from home. We all are doing all the tasks. We are multitaskers and we're doing one by one. We're not doing it all together. And for all of that, we are utilizing a strategy. Now, what NLP says, if you feel confident in one of the spaces, in one of the place, and have you heard someone saying that I don't feel confident in X place, vis-a-vis -vis I feel confident in Y place. Now, what I would do is I would not ask, no, what happens there? Why do you don't feel it there? I would just pick up the strategy of how the person feels in that confidence in X where he feels confidence and the process of it, what does he do? He sees something inside or he feels something inside and then copy the process, copy only the process of his own brain, his own process in the other context. Making simple example, Confidence in a joint uh, meeting vis-a-vis -vis confidence in uh, public speaking. A lot of people say that I can speak in a group, but I can't speak in on the stage. So there is a strategy which they are not choosing. They are lacking the strategy. And we can just get into the strategy directly by learning NLP. Now, a uh, quick information for, for all of us uh, over here is about uh, how do i go ahead with, with this how do i what should i choose how do i choose the strategies right so that's a question so the question is about wait a minute i was checking the live so how do i what should i do step number one start reading books by john grinder and richard bandler there are books also by tad gems so there are three uh, famous societies according to me i recommend uh, which is NLP Academy by John Grinder, NLP Life by Richard Bandler, and uh, Tad Gems, uh, one of the very good uh, 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 person who has simplified NLP according to strategies and human resources. What an HR should do. The first thing, uh, start reading, and second is apply. Do NLP practitioners and only apply. Take a year and start applying it in all the scenarios, conflict management, team management, interpersonal skills, uh, recruitment, talking to people, finding people, strategies, everything. Just start applying and you will start getting results by yourself then and there. I, I think we are uh, done with the 
questions. Uh, I can't see if there is any other question which we have. Uh, wait a second. Please give me a moment. Okay. So we have answered uh, all the questions and I can't see that there is any other question over here. So, uh, yeah, that's all about NLP. Uh, please make sure that uh, you read the right content because that's more important. Uh, going to the right credential. Uh, there is something also called an NLP, new code NLP. Uh, that's a second level which you can take or you can also do it directly. However, I would recommend you to complete your basic practitioners first and then only go ahead for new code NLP because it will be easy for you to learn. It's as simple as that, uh, knowing, uh, knowing, knowing the, the cycle, how do you ride a cycle, then knowing to how to ride a scooter. So riding a cycle and then riding a scooter will give you more, uh, more uh, benefit, right? Okay, so great, we are uh, done with it. So I hope all of you are very best. Thank you so much for listening me out. Uh, you can connect with me on rhythmadua.com. You can connect with me on rhythmadua.com. And also you can leave me, uh, uh, you can write to me on the email at rhythma, R-I-D-H-I-M-A, at the rate i-flame.in. So this is what you can do and write it to me or you can also uh, call me up at 840-79-666 and double two. This is what my number is. My website for all of you and my email ID. All right. Thank you so much, ladies. I hope that you enjoy listening and we have more and more updates coming up over there on the website. Thank you so much and uh, take care. Bye-bye. See you.